Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Um, on the last episode, we had a special long episode where we fought not one, but two bosses. And got hammers. Yeah, hammers. Now, in this episode, we are going to try to climb down Hoo Hoo Mountain by going through this stupid block King Fawful put there. There we go. Alright. Now we're in all new territory. Here we go. Time to explore. There's some nuts. You wonder what those little belly button looking things on the ground are. I'll explain those in a later episode. Because we don't have the move to use them yet. Alright, look at all these rocks. Look at them all. Look at them all, all these rocks. Smash all these rocks. Alright, now. What we have to do here, and it's very difficult. Somewhat. Somewhat. As you can see, there's a flaming rock here. Well, as you saw up here, there's water. And I'm going to show you something that this is going to be prevalent later on. Is that when you press the B button, Mario will shoot water out. Like little bursts of it. As opposed to if you use the super jump where he sprayed a lot of it out. So, remember that. It's a very important aspect of the game. Um, here we go. We're going to do some more of these blocks, like always. So, yeah. Uh, as I talked in the post-commentary episode last time, because... Audacity did not work. Well, it was supposed to be Audacity, it's just my mic wasn't turned on, I didn't think about it. So, okay, that thing right there, that's where we're going in that tunnel, is where the mini game I was talking about is. But well, we're gonna stay before we go in there, because that mini game is annoying as hell. Uh, we're gonna go up here, go up here. There's nothing over there. So, let's head over this way. Well, that way is to come back up here. That's a shortcut to get back here, so you don't have to keep going through the minecarts over and over again. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do the minecarts or not a second time, because you do get bean sport, and beans will become prevalent later on, which you won't know about till later on anyway. Fucking thing. Okay. Do 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 do. Um, if I'm, I'm uploading or creating movies right now with Movie Maker from the previous episode, so... If, you, if that pops up really quick, I'm going to try to cut that out, but I don't know. Alright, I don't even care about the minecarts. Okay, I'm going to spin the minecarts. The way the minecarts work is Mario is in the front and he has a flashlight. Luigi's in the back and he does not have a flashlight. Therefore, Mario has to continually gape his flashlight on Luigi because you won't be able to see otherwise. A button jumps for Mario, B button jumps for Luigi, as you know. Collect these gems. The colored gems symbolize who's going to be able to get the gem. Because sometimes it's hard to tell. If you do not get a flashlight battery, you will go dark and bad things will happen because there are obstacles here. And the way to get through this is actually at the very end there's a specific amount of stuff you need. Like if this one isn't so bad. Oopsie. See right there? I had to jump over that. I would have lost some would have lost some uh, gems. See right there it bounced it bounced in the way I could not get it. And it got really dark, but I didn't I didn't die out. The very first episode, or the very first level of this is really easy, but you don't get any beans for it. You just get to go to the other level. See, it did it again. It bounces way too high for you to get. So you have to actually keep an eye out for everything that's going on. Um, later levels, your flashlight will die really quickly. See, 15 rubies, or 15 gems, you only needed 10 gems. So we, we cleared it. And that level's done. If we go back through it, it'll be like 15 gems to clear the level. And it'll be a lot more difficult, but you'll get beans for completing different levels. So... We'll, we, we will come back and do that minigame later on, I think. Let me save quick. Not that I have any intention of dying down this track, but... Who knows? Tracks end. That reminds me of uh, my RPG, Land's End. That place was annoying. I really disliked that place. It was very... It was desolate because, it, you know, it was the end of the world, pretty much. That's what it was considered, the end of the world. Wait up! Up, oh, here come the Hammer Brothers. They didn't They didn't explain about combat. And if you say no, it's a butt thou must. It's just, you know, try being polite, try being polite. You know, you can just keep denying it forever and it'll just keep saying that. So you have to explain it. So, hammers. The way hammers work, obviously, same way as jump works. 
You can't jump and use the hammer at the same time, so you never have to worry about that. The hammer attack just simply... You wait till you start to shake. See how he's like that, and you swing. 12 damage. The next one is the B button. Alright. The B button does the same thing. How to defend. See how he's like now. Press and hold the B button. Luigi is different because he takes a while to get the hammer out. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So I'll I'll explain it a little better because this is stupid in here. But I'll explain it a little better later on. Oh, there's a there's a hidden move that you can get. There's a hidden move later on. See right here's the block right here. See, you can't break it. Therefore, you have to have a better hammer. That simple. Gonna get some more syrup. Get some mushrooms. Get some coins. Cause I love the coins. I love them coins. Love, love, love them coins. Now, there's a crossroad up here. Now, you might be wondering, what is this boo statue? What am I supposed to do with that? Well, that's also another power for later. That's Luigi's ability. See, here's what I was talking about. See right here, you can um, use Luigi. You jump up here. If you jump down there, that'll take you to the beginning of the minecarts again. So that's just a quick way to get back up there without having to take those minecarts. Because you can't actually take the minecarts back. If you try to take the minecart back, all it does is it takes you back to the very beginning again. All right, here we go. Now we're at Bean Bean Valley. I believe Bean Bean Valley. Now here, see, here's what it's talking about. See how it's 7, it was 12 earlier? Because you don't, you have to wait a while. But you can't wait too long or you completely miss. And Mario, as you will be able to find out, Mario actually pulls his hammer out incredibly faster than Luigi. So there's no way to actually do anything about it. Oops, walked right into that. See how slow he is pulling his hammer out? Mario's just like, Hurra, hammer! And Luigi's like, hammer. He takes a really long time. Oops, and there you go. You don't hit the A button in time, the hammer falls off. So. See? Compare the two together. Clearly Mario pulled his hammer out long before Luigi had his. Now you're getting woo beans for this. And you wonder, what are, what good are beans? Well, beans are magical what they are. And yes, there is a spiky stomp shoe kind of thing here. It, there is a spiky prevention. So, there's armor for it. There's, there's no, there's badges too, and there's spike badges, which will prevent you from making, see how Mario probably can swing almost two full swing before Luigi can swing once. You just need to remember that for when you're battling, defending with Luigi. Luigi is not defensive with the hammer. He's the jump king. Luigi, as you know from all the Mario games, Luigi jumps higher than Mario. Well, I guess with the exception of maybe for uh, three. See how that I just did six right there, which made no sense because I didn't level up. And... It's insane. It's, it's randomized. All right, Mario leveled up. Speaking of level up, see, Mario doesn't even really get health. That's what's retarded about it. Now we're actually going to get stash points. And now you're wondering, what good is stash? What is stash? Well, stash is your luck in this game. It's the equivalent of your luck skill. It will determine how many luckies you'll get. Now those little worm things, you, you don't really want to fight them right now. You just want to avoid them. There'll come a time where you can just jump on them and the, the start of the battle will kill them and you'll get a ton of XP for it. But right now you just kind of want to ignore them. Because they're not really worth your time. All right, we're almost to the kingdom. It's actually right around this corner. Oh, Mario can now one-shot those things. So, you see that defense of four and an attack of seven. See what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Luigi didn't even level up. He's doing more damage. All right, here's the Bing Bing Kingdom right here. We'll head in here and see. Um, yeah. 
And as you can hear, there's the desolate theme again. The town was attacked the horror. Yep, someone attacked the town. And pretty much nearly killed everyone. And I mean everyone. Soldiers, like I said, the Bean Star is held in the castle. What if Cac What if Cac led us after the Bean Star? Oh no, it is said to grant wishes. And that's the truth. It is said to grant wishes. So we'll head in here to the castle. But not before we're stopped by these two most retarded guards you've ever seen. Whoa, 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 we can't just walk in here. The town just has been attacked. That means the castle could be attacked at any moment. Lady Lama has instructed us not to allow anyone to enter the castle. None. Having said that, if you still wish to enter, you must explain your name and motives. What? You are the world famous Mario. What? You are the legendary Luigi. Bleh, Luigi who? I have no idea. Poor Luigi. This gets no respect. If you really are the, mush uh, the Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom, prove it. And then he jumps. With that jump. There is no mistaking it. And he goes, so he's the really Mario? And the other guy just goes, nope, I don't know. Anyway, what is what the real Mario and Luigi have in this castle? Ah, I see. Huh? Oh, I see. Gotcha. What do they want? I have no idea. And then they're just like, oh my god. They're like, enough. Regardless of what nonsense, you may not enter. Now be gone. And then Luigi pulls out the rose. Prince, please, these rows! Are you friends of the prince? Yes, we are. So, now we can go in, because we are friends of the prince. Do-do-do-do-do. I love the background music in this level. And this area, it's pretty cool. That's the castle, that's a special area. A castle. Uh, this place is blocked off, as you can see. By, like, some sort of weird-looking monkey face thing. Like, tusks. And then you head this way. And there's actually, as you can see, a hidden block here. Not really a hidden block, but... I think this is called a bro block because of the alternating thing, but I'm not sure. But as you can see, there's also a dead guy right there. Um, if you try to talk to him, he won't say anything. But then someone will pop up behind you! Uh-oh. I We know her from the beginning, don't we? She is Lady Lima. The gatekeepers told her about her. <laughs> As you saw, the town is in ruins. The castle is under strict guard. At a time like this, I cannot allow even you to meet the queen. As the queen's longest-serving lady of court, I must act in the interest of her safety. So he pushes the button and drops your ass down. He looks like really funny looking with that smile. And now, as you can hear in the background, you know what time it is. It's Mario Brothers time. If you are truly the Mario Brothers, you must prove it by repairing the plumbing. Being the extensive plumbers that they are, even though they never really do do plumbing. If you are able to completely fix the plumbing, then you may meet Queen B. Now then, show me the work ethic of the superstar Mario Brothers. Now. I want to point out something about this whole scenario while I'm saving here because we're soon gonna probably wrap it up because there's no other save block so I want to do this whole thing in one fail swoop including the boss at the end of this and it's gonna take a while so I think part 10 will be the um, long one where we save the queen and meet the queen and do all that other crap we'll save the queen meet the queen do whatever with the queen get through the fucking sewers first we'll get through the sewers but um as you saw, Lady Lima was the person in the very beginning, in the intro, who Cacletta was disguised as to um, steal Princess Peach's voice. So, I just wanted to remind you of that because people didn't, maybe you didn't know who that exactly was because they said, you know, she was a high-ranking official. But that's why, because she's the first, she's the person pretty much in charge of Queen Bee. Yeah, we got our hammer now and got shoes. We have shoes! And here's where we're at right now. See, we've got to go to the Bean Bean Castle. So that's where we're at. Um, got our items. Alright. Well, I say I've got our items and everything else. I will see you guys in the next episode where we will continue this series. This has been Jay-Z Warrior. And this has been Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Subscribe if you like it.